Welcome class of 2016. My name is Eric Stolhansky. I'm one of the founding members of the Broken Lizard Comedy Group. One of my fondest memories happened just outside the chapel where you're sitting right now. When we started our comedy group, we decided to have some fun with the prospective students that were coming to visit the campus. So I dressed up like a priest, another guy in the comedy group dressed up like a rabbi, and we came on the chapel doors having a heated discussion which quickly led to some fisticuffs, which quickly led to a full-blown wrestling match where we went rolling down Cardiac Hill. The reason I'm telling you that story is that you're going to spend a lot of late nights studying, you're going to spend a lot of late nights in the library. But I hope that you'll also remember the importance of laughter and having a good time while in college. So good luck and have fun for the next four years of school. Welcome to Colgate. My name is Ayanna Williams and I'm class of 2008. Colgate was indeed one of the best years of my life, but I'd be amiss if I didn't say that it's because I put as much into Colgate as Colgate put into me. There are so many opportunities available to you from career services to going to athletic events to social activities and of course the amazing professors available, but you only get what you give. So, starting with today, I hope that it can be as much to you as it was to me. Go Gate! Welcome class 2016. Hey, Colgate class of 2016. Uh, my name is Michael Torpy. I was in the class of 2002. I just want to say congratulations to you guys on getting into Colgate. It's a lot harder to get in there now uh, than when I went there, so good job on that part. Um, and you guys obviously are, you're smart kids, you know, you, in high school you got good grades, you did your extracurriculars and your babysitter clubs and, and all that stuff. So now that you've got into school, um, don't be good at everything, you know, take some risks. Take a class that maybe you think, I'm going to be really bad at this, my brain doesn't work this way. Um, join a club that you don't understand, try out for a show, uh, you know, just go out there, fail at something, and uh, be weird. And uh, I think you'll learn a lot that way. Colgate's a great place to fail and be weird because it's a, a supportive group. And they love that stuff, so uh, good luck guys, be well. Hi, my name is Katherine Bertine. I'm class of 97, so I'm old now, but uh, I do remember my freshman year and walking on the hill for the first time. And uh, as for advice for incoming freshmen, uh, if you get a chance, really explore Hamilton and explore the areas that are surrounding Colgate, because uh, there are some really wonderful aspects to central New York and upstate New York, and you're so close to all of these. So venture off campus, and it'll only enhance your experience on campus. Everybody next to you, you know, they haven't been to college either uh, yet, so this is all new for all first-year students, and I, I think you're going to have the most amazing experience. I know I did. Colgate totally changed my life. Um, I had no idea, you know, sitting there in the uh, in the chapel of first year orientation, you know, where my life was going to end up, and uh, you know, who knew that I'd be a professional athlete or you know work for ESPN. I had no idea about that at the time, but what I what I did realize pretty soon was how special Colgate was. So I really hope you enjoy your experience there, and uh, I'm sending you all my best wishes. So good luck. Oh, hi. I'm Carrie Clifford, and I graduated just a few years ago from Colgate, and I invented the iPhone. It's not a big deal. It came to me in a dream one night. But I remember being just where you are, in a chapel with no center aisle, and this is kind of the time where all the rumors start spreading. You're probably hearing things about other members of the class of 2016, like, I'm sure there's someone who got a perfect score on their SATs, or someone who created a symphony when they were only six years old, or someone whose father owns an island and they took a private jet up to Hamilton. Find these people. Befriend them. They're better than you. And maybe one day they'll invent something that is as influential as an iPhone. Hello from London. Uh, this is 
coach Fernando Canales saying hello to the class of 2016. What a glorious day it is indeed here by Big Ben and uh, just wanted to welcome you to Colgate and give you a little bit of what we practice every day with the swimming team. Um, being a member of the University of Michigan swimming team and a, a three-time Olympian, one of the things that we always went by was um, that it's not every four years. The Olympics are not every four years, but it's every single day. If you, every single day of your stay here, you use your resources, you work hard, you make your life better, and in the process, you improve our world, our community of Hamilton, and respect Colgate University, you will graduate as seniors that have used the tools that will make you better people in the end. Have a phenomenal time at Colgate. I send you lots of love from London, and I hope you enjoy your stay as much as I've enjoyed my time here at the Olympics. Hi, I'd like to give a big welcome to the class of 2016. My name is Andy Greenfield from the class of 1974, the days when the dinosaurs roamed Hamilton, New York. Anyway, I would like to give you one thought. People say that this is a tough time to go to college, come out of college, no jobs, hard to control your fate. I happen to think it's exactly the opposite. I think this is the best time. Why? Simple. You guys are at Colgate, where you're going to get some of the very, very finest professors in the world helping you develop critical thinking skills. And the second thing, you're at Colgate, which has the Thought Into Action Institute, where you can take an idea you want to make reality and make it happen. So between your critical thinking skills that you're going to develop here and the Colgate's Thought Into Action Institute, you guys are poised to control your future and make your dreams come true. Have a great four years. Welcome to the Colgate family, class of 2016. I'm Amy Dudley, class of 2006, which also means I'll be seeing you at your reunion, 2021. I'm currently working out in Chicago for the Obama campaign as Vice President Joe Biden's press secretary. I've got two of Colgate and Hamilton's best kept secrets as well as one piece of advice for you. The first best kept secret is the Person Hall Bridge. It's the most beautiful place on campus to study and just think and somehow it's never crowded. Number two is the Clubhouse Sandwich at Curtain Call, the best deli in the world, conveniently located next to the Hamilton Movie Theater downtown. Tell Julie Amy Dudley sent you. And my one piece of advice is sometime during your first or second year, take an Introduction to Peace and Conflict Studies course, uh, preferably with Professor Nancy Reese. Somehow you may end up a Peace and Conflict Studies major before you even knew it. Good luck. Hey, Colgate class of 2016. Welcome to the most amazing place you'll ever be. I am Laura Matano, class of 2010. I'm an actress living in New York, and I love Colgate so much. Two pieces of advice. A, everyone is homesick. Even if they look super happy, they are probably crying in their bed, cuddling Harry Potter, like me. And second of all, get involved. The first week you'll have an activity fair, go and sign up for everything that looks remotely interesting and go to the first meeting. Having something that you have to go to every week or every day if you're playing a sport is going to be so amazing, give you a community and give you uh, something to be a part of. And also you get to do things like play rugby or learn about Japan if you want. I want to. I didn't, but I want to. So take advantage of being there. It's such an amazing place. Have fun! I love Colgate. Bye! Hey, Class of 2016, it's Sean Pierre, Class of 2006, calling in from New York. Every day I interview celebrities on camera for MTV or for Swagger New York, my website. I write about fashion and style and how to be cool. And it's always something that I knew I wanted to do. And I just kind of attacked it after Colgate. And I guess that's my message to you, is to only do what you love. Know what you're here for, go out and attack it, and don't try to do things that people want you to do. It's just not worth it. Uh, you're here for a reason. Go make that statement. Be bold, be different, um, and have a blast at Colgate. Everybody in New York that's from Colgate is so jealous of you right now. So have so much fun.